What's up everybody? George back at it and uh, just want to do a little video on my 3D printer and the upgrades I've done. So, well, let's just get right to it. So, yeah, if it ain't messy, you ain't having fun, right? It ain't working. <laughs> so, first off, the Z-axis indicators. One of my favorites. I took the Veroni style skull, I made it um, half scale, and then I 3D printed a custom little peg for it to fit on the screw. I mean, it ain't nothing. Drop a hot glue, set it on the base. Now that's way better than a piece of um, blue tape. So if I want to, I could just start off making sure that they're straight. And then I flick on the machine. So another thing you'll notice is this big old monster thing. And I'm going to redesign this because it could be better. Uh, mainly just for the light path and the LED. So, this is a filament measuring device, and as you can see, the filament is already being measured. And if I just slide it up a little bit, it should, there we go, change a little bit. So, it's measuring. And what happens uh, during the retract is it'll actually pop up and then just stay right there until the filament starts pulling it in and then pull more filament through. It compensates this distance from this reading in the firmware. And as you can see, I'm using a GT2560. Yes, I did add on a wire to the analog over there. Uh, another thing is I did the auto level. Now, the reason why I did it this way with no servo was because in the beginning I had a Sanguina Lulu, which is actually still right there, and I'm only doing testing for this. So, this is actually uh, one of my favorite boards because it's got so many interchangeable parts. So, yeah. Um, now, the direction of the three magnets, these all, the three lower magnets all go in one direction, and then this top one goes in the opposite. And that helps it so that it flips up on it almost right away. If you flip just one magnet the wrong way, then it kind of like floats right here, or doesn't want to flick down very well. But it just wants to flick down. Like right here, I can get, I can get um, the probe down to this point, and it still comes back up. Another thing was I 3D printed this little uh, fan bracket. It does direct some air, so it does kind of help, but I mean... Well, you can see my prints. Oh, this one, actually, I dropped him. That shouldn't be a good one, huh? <laughs> yeah, this one's a lot better. And he felt from... Yeah, oh well. So, uh, memory card's running out, but um, that's pretty much it. Oh, uh, my bet. One simple hex nut, and you tighten up this whole, I mean, look, it doesn't wiggle. The bed can still move up and down, but this is a solid peg now. This is the way to go. Don't put pads under here. I don't understand the point of that. Uh, other than insulation and maybe retaining the heat. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. And, uh... You'll see my firmware on uh, my WordPress blog, and that's pretty much it. Peace out. Y'all have a good one. I just started running a G29. Grid leveling. It's one other. Oh, there's a skull spinning. Way better, right? <laughs> And that was a three-point grid, and in the firmware, if I don't run out of memory, this is what I disabled to get it working. That's pretty much it.